They finally did it. They finally made Rainbow DK into a legit deck. Throughout most of the Theorycraft stream, I've really just wanted to try as many different kinds of Rainbow DK decks possible to see what is going to be the best way to play this deck when the Showdown the Badlands expansion actually is released. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to say, Clark, you finally did it. After three different attempts of trying to build this deck, I finally figured out a really good list that I think I would be confident playing on day one, maybe making a couple of changes to the list in order to really see how powerful this archetype actually can be and it's all thanks to the power of the pit boss the pit boss and the excavate package work perfectly in this deck so let me go ahead and explain to you guys just why i settled on this particular list as well as the other ideas that i tried out during the theorycraft stream so the reason why I settled on this list is because cards like Corpse Farm and Crop Rotation are absolutely perfect for this kind of archetype. Uh, uh, crop Rotation gives you 4 one, 1 undeads that die at the end of the turn, so think of it like 3 hero powers, except they don't have charge, they just have rush. And then Corpse Farm is spend up to 8 corpses to summon a minion equal to the amount of corpses that you spend. So now we have a really good reason to spend corpses and gain corpses, so that way Climactic Narcotic Explosion gets a lot more support. However, there is one interaction that I was not familiar with until after I played a couple of games, but I still like this card in the list to begin with because we do have Excavation cards, but originally I thought Harrowing Ox would give you a 7 mana discount going into the next turn if you wanted to, but it's only available for that current turn. But still, being able to summon two 7-7s seven with Taunt immediately, followed up by like a Patchwork or a Gnome Muncher, is a really good way of being able to swing the tempo in your favor so you really want to make sure that you keep the excavation cards you can keep the dry scale deputy and you always will keep your crop rotation because this card is just really good at being able to give us ways of interacting with the board mom paw is also a really good card in this deck but unfortunately i was never really able to get this card to stick onto the board and i'm starting to wonder if maybe we can use sinister soul cage with this card in order to make a copy of it so we can potentially get even more corpses spent and more uh health thanks to it but that's kind of an 8 mana combo, and by that time, it's really easy for your opponent to deal with these kind of threats, because if you do give it a plus 2, plus 2 copy and summon a copy of it, there will be two three tens on the field, but unfortunately, there's just a lot of ways of being able to remove this, especially if your opponent is already on the field. I know that 20 HP and minions does sound like a lot, but Mom and Pa really don't have that much attack, so it's really easy to trade into them. The only way that's really going to work out is if you have a completely empty board that you can play this card into, so I'm still up in the air on whether or not the card is insane or not, but I still love the ability of being able to gain his corpses while also spending those corpses almost immediately. But the Excavation Package works really well because there is a card called the Azerite Rat that works perfectly with the Pit Boss. The Pit Boss is by far the reason why this deck can even become a thing because you can swing tempo extremely easily as long as you have lots of minions that you can trade into. But the thing about this, uh, this minion you have to realize is that it is still 20 mana. It discounts itself by every single minion that has died, including your opponent's minions, so it's really easy to get this below a 10, 5, even 0 mana threshold. But the biggest thing to keep in mind is that the Azernite Rat will bring back the Pit Boss, so you have lots of ways of being able to bring back the Pit Boss take opponent's minions because it does also come back with Reborn thanks to the Azernite Rat, so this deck has a lot of potential going for it. And then the clips coming up ahead, you're really able to see just how easily this deck can swing things in your favor. Whether or not playing Climactic Necrotic Explosion is the way to go is still up in the air, but I was able to win a game by playing it, so that automatically gives me all the copium that I need in order to try this deck on day one and see just how powerful it is. But maybe the cards that you can sub out if they're not working well for you, you could sub out Queen and you can maybe sub out the Harrowing Ox for some other like early game tempo. Because one interaction that I really do like, but I feel like just isn't that strong because we don't have a lot of undead synergy, is actually the synergy with Arms Dealer and Crop Rotation because with that you're able to deal uh, essentially 8 damage uh, to minions uh, for only 4 mana. So that seems like a really good way of getting some removal. Maybe we need to add more 1 drops because I don't know what it is about making gimmicky rainbow death knight decks, but they usually just don't have one drops because it's important to have these uh, these comeback cards, these proactive cards, as well as some removal like Plague Strike because you really need to be able to mitigate that early game tempo. So if you like Rainbow DK and you want to see more of it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates because we are going to be posting a lot of content leading up 
to the release of the showdown in the Badlands. A lot of these decks are already in my Discord, so go ahead and check out the Discord link down below if you want to see all the decks that I will be posting about, as well as the ideas that work the best for me during the Theorycraft stream. But thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, we're going all in on this. We're going all in on this idea. You mean like born in the USA? Because I was born in the USA. I'm a proud American idiot. I'm only an American idiot whenever it comes to talking about how much I love Green Day. That's the only time I'll be an American idiot and be proud about it. All right, do I just coin here? I don't think so. What is the most American thing someone can do? Riding a motorcycle while, while killing terrorists while also voting. I think that's about as American as you can get right there. All right, here we go. While also eating a cheeseburger. Don't forget the pet eagle. Paying for healthcare. Oh, he, he went there. He went there, dude. Filing a revolver into the air. Yeah. While also wearing a cowboy hat. While also having uh, a thing of apple pie chilling on the on the uh, on his window seal. There you go. And also having a pregnant wife and a pickup truck at his uh, at his house. There you go. That's about as American as we can get right there. And the only reason I thought about that last part is because um, I watched the, the turkey uh, Thanksgiving episode of Rick and Morty the other day. I got a pregnant girl in a pickup truck, got one by uh, got one by choice and the other by luck. Now it's time to turn into a turkey. The Citadel stands strong. Ooh, okay, so now I can play the queen for value. All I have to do now is just find the, uh, the climactic. And by house, we mean double wide. Nah, man, picket fence. The white picket fence is literally the American dream for some people. More shamans? Played elemental last turn, discover an elemental from the past. What if he finds zephyrs? Can you even imagine how cool that would be? America is, is uh, the South, agreed. I'd rather buy it myself than pull together and have the government buy it. I mean, I'd rather just have house prices be a little bit cheaper so that way it's actually feasible for someone like me to own a home. But yet here I am, moved into a studio apartment because it's all that I can afford. I so what What can a man do? <laughs> oh, excuse me. He's got, he's got a little hat on. No them on the range. If you want to emigrate, the American uh, initiation is driving some sort of muscle car around the country, eating fast food and jamming uh, to metal. America and adding ingredients to food that are legal in Europe. Yep, yep, it's all that processed shit. Apparently we can't get enough of it. The difference between American soda and EU soda is actually astounding. It is astounding what the differences are. Speaking of, I'm gonna go grab my American soda real quick because I haven't even touched this thing. And it's just been sitting over this uh in this corner for like the past couple hours. Probably not even cold the anymore. Calm before the storm. But I need that I need that sweet fizzle. Real sugar over that fructose bullshit. Yeah, honestly, dude, I, I absolutely despise um just how like it's because it's all about turning a profit, right? It's all about um prioritizing profits over a good product and i've never agreed with that no matter what the product is because i would rather make a good product that just becomes like a household name like i'm mostly talking about like gaming and whatnot but it really drives me crazy how like video games are a great example of this concept where it's like people are just looking to cash out as soon as possible and they'll make a shit game promote it as the best and as long as it's advertised well then it'll do well it's not even about the good game anymore Okay, I could play this. Give me that ring. I got the ring from my queen. And now if I draw the climactic, we just have to spend corpses. But I also need to get my excavation cards. I kind of have a lot of mana in my hand right now. FDA is criminal. No, it's the FDA. Oh, uh... I mean, sure. The FDA just doesn't do their job properly. It may be bullshit soda, but it's an American bullshit soda. It's not even, uh, what's in the food. It's also, uh, what you lot do all over there. Like, the whole country cleaning poultry with, uh, chlorinated water pre-packaging wouldn't fly over there. I mean, there's definitely good places to have good food that is not, like, that's actually taken care of. 
those kind of places definitely exist, but they're not the norm. That's why, like, it's it's really ironic, in my opinion, how some people are like, ooh, organic food? Never. I would never touch organic food. It's like, you realize what organic means, right? I don't think they understand what the word organic actually means. So someone's just, you know, effectively just screwing themselves over. Okay, that's actually really good. That's kind of what I was hoping for. And now I've got another rock. This card is a little bit better than I gave it credit for. I would love to eat only organic. Exactly. The, mo the, most, the most common reason for someone to not eat organic is the fact that it is expensive. Exactly. And by no means am I uh, taking the moral high, uh, high horse on good food. My country uh, greatest offering to the world is 101 ways to use a potato. Oh, what? Are you from Ireland? Are you from Ireland or from Russia? Because aren't those the two... The two co he threw Galamos! He threw Galamos! Oh, no. Oh, no. He found Calamos. Alright. 6-6 six, six, gnome. Nom, 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 nom. Got one. Uh, got it in one. Island it is. Uh, the 102nd way would be would have been vodka, but the Russians beat us to it. I mean, hey, man. Irish whiskeys. You can't go wrong with an Irish whiskey. I'm not even that big of a drinker, but I don't know what it is about whiskey in particular. It's actually more so bourbon. Bourbon whiskey. Oh my lord. He actually got the divine shield, too. My opponents always get the divine shield, and I don't. But at least I have Primus on this in order to take that health back. I have not excavated twice, so I can't even play the ox yet, dude. That's not a problem. Mom, pow! Oh god, oh god they blink. That's kind of that's kind of funny. Wait. Okay, he's blinking. Her eyes are just changing color. It doesn't even look like it's a blink from her, from Mao. It's kind of, I guess, a little bit. All right, gimme. Yoink. Blurp. Oh. Oh my. Yes. Do you know the national animal for Scotland is the unicorn? How? What? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way that's real. I mean, first of all, unicorns don't exist. So how can your national animal literally be a fictional uh, animal? Unless, if you would have said the Loch Ness Monster, I would have been like, okay, that kind of makes sense because everyone goes to Scotland, right? It's Scotland that has that for the, for the Loch Ness Monster myth. That would somewhat be understandable but why in god's green earth why would scotland's national animal be the unicorn that doesn't make any sense to me scotland is way older uh, than that shitty cryptic okay yes but it's still like one of the first things that people think of when it comes to scotland in some instances oh my god cows well it's not even real i mean yeah but neither are unicorns Neither are fucking unicorns. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is not going well. This is not going well. Oh. Oh. I think I have to wait till next turn to do that. Because I really need the healing here. I need the taunt to also get in the way of this. Or this trades here and then I get more healing. Not real like America and freedom. Any more giveaways tonight? We have one more giveaway, but don't forget to check out the Twitter for more giveaways. Unicorns are just horses with good with a good publicity team. <laughs> That's kind of nuts, dude. That's actually kind of nuts. But I have blood boil value now. Or do I? Ow. That hurt my feelings, man. Why you gotta be so rude? Oh, come on. I mean, Blood Boil still does wonders here. Gives me 10 healing. Not terrible. Alright, so I've excavated twice. I can now play the Oxes. I'm really trying to find a situation to where I can play the Mom Paw. I'm starting to wonder if there's a way 
Where, like, you play Mom, Pa, you make the copy with the four drop, and then you just have them just stick around. Because what if you were to do that? Would that even work? It would be something you would have to do in the late stage of the game, though, so that's the reason why I don't think people are drawn towards it whatsoever. Turn the tides. Rainbow DK, man. Trying really hard to win a game with Rainbow DK. Oh, hi. You woke up for your nap. You gotta go outside. Oh, he's a good dog. Who's a very good dog? Okay. Ow. Ow. I would hate to have to play the other blood boil here. I'm gaining six. My rule is eternal. I think I just have to play for tempo here. Freyo is such a bad roll, dude. That's like literally the worst, um... That was literally the worst outcome. Oh, wait a minute. I could have, I could have, I could have actually struck different minions. That's on me. That, that's actually a big mistake. Because I could have, like, destroyed some other stuff. Yep, we got a brand new apartment. I haven't put stuff on the walls yet, but soon we will. <laughs> chat, you know what you have to put in chat right now. You know what has to be put in chat right now. Lag my bomb. Gonna be a minute before that awakens, though. I mean, how many corpses am I gonna end up spending this game? Because now that I have this giving me more, I'm gonna get some extra health, too. I'm yeah, dude, you're you're so fucked at eight turns. <laughs> All right, so I need to take out the arms dealer and put in the deputy after this. Finally, spending corpses, dude. Get him, Yes, ma. Trying to find some draw. That's not gonna backfire, right? Cover this, uh... Can I please just top deck the climactic necrotic explosion? One game. I I I think I've had it in my hand like once in like five games. We're playing Arena Death Knight at this point. Arena Death Knight. Fire elemental. Feels <laughs> six to his face. Climactic, please. Please give me the climactic. Just one game. Let me get it one game. Lul. I mean, we got a W with it, right? We got we got a W with it. It's not the worst thing in the world. We at least got a W with it. It's the melon? Wait. Oh, it's cantaloupe? Okay, hold on a minute. Whenever anyone says it's the melon, I think about my my singer Matt Melon. <laughs> you know, I actually got to meet Cantaloupe in person, and the dude is an absolute hang. I love hanging out with Cantaloupe. I missed your song request. I mean, I was just gone for three minutes. Uh, what song do you want to hear? What's the song that you want to listen to, my my friend? You have the king's audience. You, Allah. What are you doing? What are you doing, dog? Alrighty. Smiley face. All right, not much I can really do here. Blood in the Water by Normandy. Don't think I've ever heard of this. Blood in the Water, when it's really just the body of Christ. I would hate just to play crop rotation for no value. So I think I'm just gonna hero power. I'm not really getting anything out of it right now. I can always save it for next turn. Just playing some ogres. Ogres are like onions. Because they're ugly. <laughs> kind of wish I could do something else here. Have I played Pure Frost? I have not. I'm not going to lie. Pure Frost looks very boring to me. But we did see someone from the French community 
playing a pretty interesting take on the deck. But no, I, I want Rainbow DK to be good. That's why I'm playing it a lot. Oh my cantaloupe! Calm down, buddy. Calm it down, friendo. I thought I thought we were friends. Nah, nah. R real friends don't hold back in card games. That's the truth right there. I'm the guy who introduced you to Sleep Token. I'm a lit DJ sometimes. Wait, you are you are the one that that introduced me to Sleep Token, weren't you? All right. Well, let's see if I like this song. Let's see if you're gonna be o for if you're gonna be two for O. Frosty K got the most excavation cards. They did. So hopefully the the archetype changes a bit. I'll go ahead and save this for later. But now I can summon an eight drop on six. But he's gonna get a colossal on five. Ooh. Uh, that's a problem. Okay, so I have a three drop that I can make into a zero. So we have this into this, set up queen. Getting boned. I can maybe find the uh, the deal three for zero. Mixed concoction. Okay, he's just he's just doing the typical rogue thing. I haven't really seen anything new here. Do you think Unholy would be more of an excavate rune uh, with the whole thing being in the ground? But since they uh, did get so many plagues last set, I get why they uh, they didn't give them excavates too. Yeah, it would be a little bit too much, but you can still like run like double Unholy one Frost and kind of get away with it. So that's at least something. Deal three. Ragnaros. I can take an 8-8. I can take an 8-8. was really hoping for the rag there though. was really hoping for a rag possibility. Cantaloupe, wear new card. Wear wear new cards, mate. I I I think we're I think we're missing some cards in your deck. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, asphyxiate for zero. Starting to wish I went for the no. I I guess I should have done that first. That's on me. I'll save this for later, so I can get some no muncher value. But we got this into deal damage and to play this. I also honestly could have, uh, I could go for like something like this and get a 10-10. You could argue that you dig up stuff from the ice. That's true. It's a very icy cavern, right? <coughs> Finally, a new card. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Aye, 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 dude. I'm really not liking this cough that I have. I developed it in the last day or so. I'm going from allergies to having a cough now. So this can kill this, but yeah, another queen, dude. Another fistful of corpses. I I, I I legitimately have not gotten climactic once. Why why is the game doing this to me? It hurts my feelings. Ugh. The infamous Concrud? Yeah, honestly. I think it's that plus a mix of uh, allergies. A hefty edible helps a lot. Nah, dude, I'm landlocked in fucking Indiana, where the state to the left, up above, to the right, and below us all have some forms of legal weed. And Ohio actually just now passed the bill where they're able to, um, they're able to legalize it now. So now I have to worry about that. <laughs> like, literally, we are surrounded by states that have it legalized. It is so infuriating. One of these days, hopefully, it'll happen. But I, I can guarantee you that Indiana is going to be the last freaking state that does it. Legitimately going to be the very last. And it's very sad for me to say this, but it's the truth. Wait, a coin? I mean, this is just, just mostly this for the stats, but... I feel like I'm just still gonna end up dying here. Ohio also enshrined abortion uh, in its state constitution too. Dude, what the hell? Ohio's beating the fuck out of us right now. I used to make the joke, uh, I live in Indiana, but thank God I don't live in Ohio. But now Ohio's doing more for human rights. God damn. 
Am I dead? Am I dead? Oh, come on! Oh, dude, this is just fucking Miracle Rogue. I'm getting my shit smacked right now. Ohio is still a meme though, right? It's not a meme anymore, bro. It's, it's a way of life. 100% it's a way of life. Sindor coming in with the Prime Gaming, by the way. Thank you so much for being here, mate. Hope you're having a good one. Thank you so much for that support. Maybe now I can get something going here. Wait, was that just lethal? Wait, did I just throw away lethal? No, it wasn't lethal. Was it? Play queen, get the weapon, six damage to the face. No, it wouldn't have been lethal. I, I can't win with combo anymore. I just, I just can't win with combo anymore. All right, cause like I have to play around the Astalor. I'm stuck in Indiana too. It's rough. It really does suck, man. All these other states get to live life while we're just stuck here. You're good. Am I dead? Wish I could oh my God! Let's go, Rainbow DK. We didn't win with a climactic, but we are winning though. We legitimately beat a rogue. Not, not bad, dude. This question is, uh, this format is questionable with so many new cars. Don't, don't, don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe, but let me live in my copium for at least 24 hours. No hands also playing rogue? Do I really think that rainbow will be viable in standard? I feel like someone will figure out the deck. Oh yeah, that's right. I do have a giveaway. I forgot about that. I, I I'm so focused on getting this goddamn highlight. After this one, I will do a giveaway. So thank you for reminding me. I get I get very freaking um. What's the uh the word I'm looking for? Tunnel vision. I'm very tunnel vision right now because I want the highlight. I want the highlight, dude. I ha I, I had like four combos that I did within the first three hours of the of the uh, Titans Theorycraft stream. Clark will forget to do the giveaway. It, it, it could happen. It very well could happen. Okay, future side. Damn, dude. I have to give him a corpse. I, I have to give him a concoction. Not, not happy about this, but I, next time I have to do this. I wasn't going to play crop rotation. I don't even know why he played the, the future side. It can't be that good. I mean, he oops me for a reason, right? Does chat distract him? <laughs> What? Wait, where's the dog? She's right there. There. What? What are you barking at? What do you hear? <laughs> Such a good dog. Okay, I could do this instead of playing the plague. Kill three. Ah, oh, I got a rock. I mean, hey man, you want to know the difference between Hearthstone and Marvel Snap? Our rocks actually do something. <laughs> Our rocks legitimately accomplish a, a, a useful task. Alright. Getting this a little bit closer. We have more excavations. You can smell when our rock is cooking. 100%, dude. <laughs> okay, there's the corpse farm. That's a second corpse farm. I don't want another one. I could still go for the excavate. I could hero power do this. I think it always has to be this, because I really do need the excavation. And now if I need to, I have this into this. Play this. I'd have to use my coin. Stick up. We are here because of Clark. The people who ended up winning giveaways are here for the free stuff. <laughs> we are finally resing uh, Resco with the, with the, uh, the excavate. Yeah, let's hope so, dude. I haven't done that yet. I have not been able to accomplish that feat yet. It hurts even more because we won't win the giveaway. Trying, I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because like the one, one of the people that did win today, literally their first chat was entering the giveaway. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? Was was this drawn off the top? It was uh, it was off of stick up. That is so not fair. Oh my god, finally, King, finally, dude, finally, man. Okay, all right. Gimme. Discover a five. I can finally see this car get larger. Yeah, I, I know you guys are. I know you guys are screwing around, but it it does also make me sad that people that usually win the giveaways are not people that are actively in chat, because there are more people that are in this stream today that aren't active viewers. So if you're not an active viewer, you gotta hit that follow button, right? 
and maybe even use your Twitch Prime. So you have more reasons to come. Okay, uh, that's a little annoying. But I can deal with this. I just need to find the queen now. Eight damage. I was thinking about using the fistful of corpses, but it just doesn't make that much sense using it against these minions right here. The duster coming off of the chunk though was pretty good. Has one of the winners uh, chatted here after winning? Uh, I don't think so. I do not believe so, actually. Which does kind of make me sad. Okay, I thought I disconnected for a second. Luckily, I didn't. Both winners were without audio. And I really hope that's not the case. Okay, I would love that queen, by the way. What do I find queen off of this? Now that's value right there. Kind of annoying how this is the setup I have right now. I mean, I do have the climax to Necrotic Explosion, but now, of course, I'm missing the Queen. So I'm probably gonna have to do something with my, uh, with my Pit Boss. Already doing this? Oh my god. Every time I go up against this deck, it slaughters me. Every time I go up against this deck, it slaughters me. Ogre Rogue feels like such a real deck, it's crazy. Always Divine Shield. Because of this taunt, I can't even get value from my pit boss. Am I just dead? Wait a second. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Good turn. Good turn. Good turn. I knew there was a good turn there. It just took me a minute to figure it out. And now I got eight corpses for the corpse farm. Don't get Gigafin. I mean, if you get Gigafin, I get to take the thing. But yeah, I can just take this trade. If I had enough time, I maybe could have, like, not sacrificed a minion. Oh, come on! Are you fucking, fucking why? Why, man? Oh my god, no hands! My deck's cooler than yours. Ain't no, ain't no, uh... Oh my god, dude, this is so dumb. This is so dumb! Gotta keep myself alive, man. Remnants of life. Gotta get Gigafin again, man. This is why he's rank one. Uh, you should look at the screen yet again, mate, and tell me who is really rank one right now. That was such a good turn, but it got so invalidated by the fact that Rogue can just find Gigafin out of fucking nowhere. I mean, I'm probably gonna get Gigafin again here. Wish I could have played this in order to pump up the value on this. Clark greater than all Hearthstone players? My memes are greater than most Hearthstone players. The only person that out-memes me is Mark. That's it. But he doesn't meme around in standard as much as I do. So I am the best standard memer. Okay, wait a minute. That's not Gigafin. That's not Gigafin, dude. Wait, but Gigafin got Shadow Step, didn't it? No, it got Breakdanced. So there's still a 7 mana Gigafin in hand. He doesn't have a coin, right? I mean, I'm not going to be able to do the combo now, because I'm not going to be able to get the queen. Man, 
Maybe if I top that queen this next turn, I have a chance. Somebody tell me. Wait, what? What is going on here? Like, I'm not gonna get this to a high enough total, but he has to play Gigafin, and if he plays Gigafin, then I can just Climactic. I don't exactly know how this spits him back out. You have the king. So how do these minions come back? It gave me the two best ones! It gave me the two best ones! Remnants of life. YOLO Astalor? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, dude. I can even do this to play around hidden meaning. What? Do I actually have a chance? Oh my god, is he just conceding? Did I just legitimately 